The nation and the local military community suffered many losses in 2021. Most tragically, the 13 American service members killed in a suicide attack in the closing days of the war in Afghanistan. Other inspiring military figures also passed away this year. Mike Gooding takes a look back at the remarkable lives they lived. Now drop and give me 10. Colin Powell once said, a dream doesn't become a reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination, and hard work. The nation's first black national security advisor, Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman and Secretary of State died at age 84. His legacy lives on at Norfolk State University, where he inspired members of the ROTC program. You see a dude I was born in Harlem, New York, make it that far is just amazing to me. So it kind of inspires me to do good and try to make things better as I can, try to reach high as I can. Sailor, Marine, World War II and Korean War veteran, Secretary of the Navy and Senate Armed Services Committee Chairman John Warner of Virginia was warmly remembered upon his death at 94. I will miss his counsel, his humor, but most of all, his friendship. May this American hero rest in peace. SEAL teammate Commander Brian Bourgeois was hurt when he fell fast roping from a helicopter. The commander died days later at age 43. Naval Academy teammates said he'll never be forgotten. It's like we lost a family member. And, and Bouge lived that ethos. He, he trained as hard as anybody and pushed his guys to be the best. Hampton Roads in the country also said goodbye to the first commanding officer of the Navy's elite SEAL Team 6, Richard Dick Marcinko, who died at age 81, and retired General Ray Odierno, who once commanded U.S. Joint Forces Command in Suffolk, who died at age 65, and World War II hero and longtime Kansas Senator Bob Dole, who passed away at age 98. Well, unquestionably, he was a war hero. Uh, served his country, and they went on, of course, to uh, become a statesman. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. Other noteworthy military losses this year include legendary Navy Tomcat pilot and air show star Dale Snort Snodgrass, who once served as commanding, the commander of the flight fighter wing Atlantic, and retired Rear Admiral Earl Buddy Yates, the first commanding officer of the original USS John F. Kennedy.